This is going to be a quick intro to Short Circuit VST. It's a free VST um, sampler or sample player. It's it's a lot like a synth because it's got uh, two envelope generators and I think three LFOs and a little uh, uh, modulation matrix. So it's it's pretty powerful actually. But um, anyway, I I, th I think a lot of people overlook this VST because the interface is a little weird. Um, but I'm just going to introduce you to the basics of it. Um, once, once you get as far as you get in this video, then you're going to be able to just go in and experiment with all the little settings in there and there's a lot you can do. So, um, anyway, let's get started. Uh, load is right here. This is the first step in getting a sample going. Um, you can load multiple samples. Let's start with just one though. Okay. So we got this loaded. Um, Right here in the zone range, right here, uh, there's a low key setting. You're gonna wanna turn that down. For starters, turn it down all the way. So you click, drag all the way to the left, and it goes to C negative two. Then there's a high key. Drag that all the way to the right, G8. And now we have audio. You can change this root key setting here. And, uh, you know, make it match whatever range of keys you're going to be playing. Um, so now you can play little melodies with it. Um, and then what I like to do, this is to me the most interesting part of short circuit, is play with the, the loops. So if we get a forward loop going on here, we can change the uh, loop range with these little blue bars. That's... Kind of annoying so let's make it a little longer a little less annoying uh and then uh you know you can do that in any sampler just get a loop going but with this you can actually modulate the uh the loop position so let's click on this modulation routing right here and uh i guess you can't see it but um if you, if you go down you can select mod wheel uh, it's right before the c's for uh, controllers. And if you click on the destination, we've got loop start. And that is also a little bit too low to see, unfortunately. Let me drag that. Let me drag this down a little bit. Yeah, okay. So mod wheel, oh, still can't see it. Anyway, it's down there. And then loop start, just, just in the window. Okay, and there's a percentage right here. This is 0.0%, just, just turn that up to whatever. Uh, probably not more than 100, let's do, I don't know, 69, there you go. See, so you drag that and you get that nice kind of 90s IDM time stretch thing going on there. That can get pretty nasty, that's cool. Um, but maybe that's not interesting enough for you. So let's go to the, uh, step LFO one and then let's do loop length right there. And the step LFO is pretty cool. Cause it's like a customizable LFO. It's almost like a little step sequencer. I mean, that basically that's it. That's what it is. A little step sequencer, but you click load here and we can load a sine wave and see it's stepped. It's kind of quantized. So it's got this smoothing option. And I guess the default here is 100% on the first one. So we'll just leave it like that. And it'll basically work like a sine wave. Um, and right now the loop length, the uh, modulation of this to the loop length is at zero. So we turn that up a little bit. See now we've got that kind of, kind of pitch movement. And of course you can change the rate of that Change the rate of that LFO there, make it faster. Now we can do a release and have it kind of fade out. chords and shit 
Yeah, so, so that's the basics. Um, there's also some really nice filters in here. Uh, let's just load one of those up just for the hell of it. And then maybe we can modulate this filter by the uh, amplitude EG. Let's see. There it is. Cut off. Turn the modulation up a little bit. Turn the resonance up so that's a little more obvious. Yeah, so I'm just kind of screwing around doing annoying stuff in here, but you can make some really cool sounds just playing with the various settings in here. Scope an octave. Anyway, yeah, go nuts. Um, there's, you know, all these, you, you can load in multiple zones in here and uh, let me move that down a little bit. You can just keep loading stuff in and, and change the ranges of them and um, change the channels on those. And there's key groups, but I haven't really played with those yet. So, but you can just make a lot of cool noises just even using one zone and playing with all the modulations. So uh, that's that's uh, pretty much all you need to get going anyway. So uh, I don't know how you load VSTs into your DAW, but... Um, you should probably have that part figured out. Uh, and, and this will help you for the rest of the way. So I hope that was helpful.